Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is episode number six or scenario number six in What Would Ghosts Do If I Was In Your Scenario? And it comes to us today from the Appalachian Prepper. Okay, here is her scenario. I live on the edge of a small southern city in Tennessee. I am trained in bushcraft skills, marksmanship, self-defense, and I am a female, 46 years old, and I have stage 4 OA. For those of you who don't know what OA is, it's osteoarthritis. It's some really painful stuff. It's in her right hip. Other than that, and being a little overweight, she's in good health. I have a fully stocked Get Home Alive bag in her SUV that will supply me with makeshift shelter, fire, food, first aid, water, and self-defense for up to three days. Uh, she actually has a video on the uh, mom bob on her YouTube channel at the Appalachian Prepper, if you guys want to check that out. She's got a pistol uh, that she carries locked and loaded, and she also has reloads for that in her bag with additional clothing uh, and socks. So she's actually quite prepared, more prepared than most of us are. All right, so here's her scenario. It's winter, and she's alone, and she's 25 miles from home on a rural, hilly side of things, not in the city. And shit is the fan. Let's just say it was an EMP, and let's just say theoretically that her SUV stalled and will not restart. Her cell phone is not working, and she has to get home, period. Now, she has stage 4 osteoarthritis in her right hip, so long walks are possible, but they are slow and very painful, and they use more energy than the average person that, that wouldn't, that doesn't have OA. Uh, I know my area, so I know how to get home but the cold increases her pain. How do I get home? This is the scenario that concerns me the most because of her hip. And uh, so this is her scenario. You know, when I first read through this email, I was thinking, wow, this is gonna be a tough one. And then I realized that out of, so far out of all the ones that I've had, and there's still another 10 or 20 in my email I'm trying to get to, and I will get to all of them, I promise you. Um, this one actually is really, really simple for me. Um, if I was in a situation because I actually do deal um, with arthritis and from some, you know, some long term injuries from being in the military, uh, both my knees are shot, uh, one of my hips, uh, both of my ankles, shoulder. Uh, so I know what uh, I don't have osteo, definitely not stage four osteo, but my grandmother did. And uh, this is a trick I learned from her growing up, and I do it uh, not on a regular basis. My grandmother did it on a daily basis with her arthritis. She had it real bad. I mean, her hands, when she would wake up in the morning, they were just they were just horrible. Um, and I'm going to tell you a trick that she used to do, and I learned it from her, and I started doing it, oh, 10, 15 years ago uh, when I thought surgery was my only option. And I'm not big on pain pills and things like that, so... Um, I have tried the the rubs, the arthritis rubs. Didn't get anything out of it except smelliness. Uh, you know, I did everything they use. I even tried the, um, the 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 marijuana rub, the THC, whatever they call it. That actually, I I felt a little bit of relief from that. It actually worked. Uh, not great. Not as good as what I'm fixing to tell you that I I use. And that is, believe it or not, drum roll, WD-40. The shit penetrates metal to lubricate. It'll penetrate your skin and your bones to do some lubricating. Now, if you Google it and you look on their website, there's actually a disclaimer from WD-40 saying, no, it is not a medical thing. There's nothing to back it up. Obviously, they're going to do that because they don't want to have any kind of legal liabilities uh, selling their product as industrial lubricant and as uh, arthritis lubricant. But I'm here to tell you, I've used it. I have used it in the past. I use it now, not frequently, maybe once or twice every month or every other month, if, if I'm really doing a lot of work and, and my knees really bother me, I'll, I'll squirt some WD-40 and rub it in, let it sit for a few minutes. And I'm here to tell you it works. Uh, it doesn't relieve all the pain, but it makes it to where you can function uh, with a lot less pain, uh, a lot less, at least in my case and in my grandmother's case. It may completely affect you differently. I don't know. Um, and I'm not advocating, hey, everybody use WD-40 for your arthritis. I'm saying, hey, in a, in a shit is the fan situation, like, what she's talking about here, she needs to go 25 miles in hilly country rural areas. Uh, obviously, her name's the Appalachian Prepper, so we're going to say she's you know probably in the Appalachian foothills somewhere in Tennessee or maybe up in the mountains in Tennessee. Uh, so there's going to be some ups and some downs and some angles and things that are going to be really, really stressful on a hip joint. Any ball and socket joint with arthritis is insanely painful. Um, so 
Appalachian Prepper, here is my response to your specific scenario. There are three things I'm going to do. Number one, in my bag, uh, in, in your, your get home mom bag, um, I would hope that you would have some kind of anti-inflammatories in there. Maybe even a couple of accidental pain pills that you got off a friend that you know had some laying around that you keep around worst case scenarios and we're talking about a worst case shit it's the fan scenario here you are in the winter you got to get from point a to point b which is 25 miles it is doable in a day i walk much further than that in a day but it's it's a hump and that's on we were talking on flat ground you're talking hilly mountains it's, it's going to be that's going to be a, a two-day trek for you a uh, minimum two-day trek uh so what i would say is if you can scarf up some find some extra Muscle relaxers, anti-inflammatory, something like that to kind of help you out. Even if it's just Motrin, you know, or Tylenol, something to help a little bit, that would be great. My number two that I would have to have in this 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 three-way, um, my three things that I'm going to need to successfully navigate that 25 miles. Number one, some kind of anti-inflammatory pain pills, whether they're prescribed for you or not. Who cares? It's SHTF situation. Uh, number two is going to be a can of WD-40 needs to be in that bag. And number three is a really good walking stick. Uh, you can take a lot of pressure. You can take a, a lot of weight off of that hip. Uh, it'll be it'll be very important when you plant that walking step stick if you're on an incline or a decline, or maybe you're on a left or a right tilt, or you're having to pivot and twist because that's where the, the pain's really going to kick in. So a, a walking stick that you can, you know, put a substantial amount of pressure on while you're walking up and down. Not only will it help you navigate, but it's going to it help you navigate some of these areas, but it's going to take weight off of that hip, which is going to severely decrease the amount of pain that you're going to have to deal with. Um, so that is my answer to your scenario. Um, cut and dry, plain and simple, um, because I use these things. Uh, if you can get a hold of some anti-inflammatories, muscle relax or something that'll help you take the edge off, great. Can of WD-40 in your bag, awesome. Trust me, it works. And if you've done it before, Maybe it didn't work for you. I don't know. Maybe you haven't done it before. Um, try it. I, I, I just, I dare you just, just, just to squirt some on there, rub it in, let it sit for a while and see what happens. It may work for you. It may not. Um, and then uh, a walking stick, a really good quality walking stick. You can go to flea markets, uh, places like that. And you, you've got these old, uh, and I know up in Appalachian mountains, you've got them hillbillies up there. They sit at home and they carve walking sticks all the time. Uh, you want to get you a really good, you know, a good stiff one, not, not one that's going to break on you. But that's your three things you're going to need to successfully get home other than your bag to strap to your back. Some kind of pain relief, whether it even be aspirin or Motrin, WD-40, and a walking stick. That's Ghost's final answer. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please email me with your scenarios, wwgdquestions at gmail.com. I will leave it in the description. Please subscribe. Please like it or hate the video, however you want to do it, left or right. And dude, whoever this guy is that keeps posting the porn links in my comments, please stop. I mean, that's come on, that's childish. Uh, other than that, you guys have a great day. Maybe I'll get another video out tonight. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll get drunk and go live. Who knows? We'll see you later. Bye.